Noel and man, how are you doing? You okay? All good, all good. Leon, we're live, man. Oh, we're live, we're live, we're live. Welcome to CWK, <laughs> welcome to CWK. And I'm here with the legend of Brentford, yeah, <laughs> Lloyd Awusu. Thank you, what's thank going you. On? What's, going on? what's going on, Lloyd? You all right? All good, yeah. Thank you for having me on the show, boys. Thank you, appreciate it. No problem, man. No problem. We had to get you on. Obviously, you're an ex teammate of mine. For do you sure. know what I mean? And 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 you've scored goals everywhere. So obviously, another striker to a striker. It's li it's, it's live to get you on. Nice, you know I mean, I nice. can ask I can ask you some intimate questions of, you know, because our last our last guest was Curtis Woodass, and you know, he's a midfield player. Mm. You know, I, I don't <laughs> really, I can't really bounce off a of midfield too much because we didn't play midfield. Do you yeah, understand yeah. what I'm saying? So. It's good to have a striker on that you know you can connect with. But has it been Brilliant. going, man? Has it been going? Good, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've been here, Leon. Now uh, I'm in Australia, Sydney. Uh, I've been here. Well, it'll be coming up to ten years next March. So Jesus. I just can't believe it. Yeah, exactly. That's how quick it's gone. Unbelievable. But now, nah, listen, on a, on a real uh, loving life here, so I uh, can't complain at all. Yeah, man. And before before we step back, you've actually played in Australia, innit? it? Yeah, correct. That's how that's how I first ended up living here. I was. I first signed here 2009 for uh, Adelaide United, so uh, I had a couple of years out here before that, and uh, decided to emigrate when I after I came back to England to come back here again. So yeah, it's been good. What, what was that like? Was it pretty easy getting getting the immigration sorted and stuff? Or... Yeah, luckily for myself, Alex, yeah. it was. Uh, I got my I got my uh, visa. I got my original visa to play anyway, but within that time, I applied for permanent residency. Yeah. And luckily, because of the, because of being a sportsman, there was a there was actually a loophole in the oh. visa system called a distinguished talent visa that not many people know about and i applied for it and i got it after six weeks so uh, it always gave me a, a window of opportunity to come back and then after i decided to leave england and yeah it came back in 2012. yeah mad yeah i've i, I, I i've grew up with so many lads that have like got into academies and then failed and they've, they've all gone out there to try and give it a go i think it was so popular wasn't it for so long for lads going out there for a season or two seasons trying to make it work so yeah, it's been good. It's been good so far. So, Lloyd, so, Lloyd, mm. let's bring it back. Because you actually started football late. Yeah, professionally, yes. Yeah, professionally. Yeah. You actually started late. What age was that that you started that? Uh, I didn't turn professional till I was 20, Leon. And why was that, though? Was that like... Uh, to be fair, look, I think it's a matter of, obviously, was I, wasn't I good enough at the time when I was a youngster? But to be fair, athletics was probably my, my first port of call when I was younger, you know? Okay. I started okay. my athletics when I was like, like 12, 13, 14. I was doing a lot of athletics. I was still playing locally, uh, Sunday football for yeah. my local teams, Slough Town, Crusaders. And then I was at Crystal Palace for one year as a schoolboy under 15s. And okay. I, wasn't good enough to get, I wasn't good enough to get to that next level uh, for, the, for the YTS. So uh, I just, went, just drifted into the non-league world, played for Slough Town for a few years and then progressed into the professional game after that. And from Slough, well, at Slough, mm. What was the goal ratio like? It was actually well, my first my first ever game <laughs> forced. I was uh, I scored four goals in my debut against the uh, Telford. Uh, Come on, you can big yourself up. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, that's no, time, man. We're here. We're, yeah, hey, listen, honestly, listen, listen, listen. Yeah. We're here to just you know, if people don't know, people are going to be watching this and be like, yeah, younger lot are going to be watching this and thinking, but they need to know. So if you yeah, need to tell true. it. Then tell it, yeah, bro. Yeah. So he scored four goals against Telford. My debut. Yeah, I was 18 years of age. Uh, this was back in 1996. Brian McDermott pulled me aside. I was doing well for the youth team uh, and the reserves. And he said, look, Lloyd, I'm going to give you an opportunity. Uh, I'm dropping either one of the main centre forwards at the time, who was uh, uh, Gary Briz... No, sorry, it was uh, Mark West, who was a legendary non-league striker. Legendary. And he, and he like he dropped him for me. And uh, yeah, I, I repaid Brian with scoring four goals in my debut. And uh, I never looked back from there. Was that at Slough, was, 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 was it? Yeah. Yeah, it's loud enough conference. And back in them days, it was a good yeah. old conference. We had some good youngsters. Yeah. Myself was coming through. Jason Roberts, Kevin Betsy, Barry Hells, Lee Hughes. All what ended a, up going what a career up. Jason Roberts had as well. Jesus. Exactly. Top lad as well. He was yeah. Jason was unbelievable at Hayes when he was a youngster. And obviously, he progressed to Wolves and obviously all the rest of, all the, rest of the other clubs he went to. So, mm. yeah, it was, it was great time to myself. Was there anyone in that slough side that you played with that went on to be professional? Uh, no, to be fair. Oh, Yes, uh, we had uh, Matty Stoll, who was a, another young lad. He was actually at Reading before, came back into a non-league system and then went to Bristol City. Okay. Uh, but a lot of my, my area of Slough Town, was, it was obviously, it was a old pros who had been pros 
coming to that came down, down yeah, came yeah. down because they were like at the time they were like 30 34 and okay then, so, so myself so it was myself uh danny bolt he ended up well he was already a pro at fulham but he came back down and just, just floated around the conference again but it was only myself really and uh matty Stoll who actually ended up going back into the into the professional world okay 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 that's interesting still that's mm. interesting so, that's interesting yeah, it was good it was actually good because for me leon it was a uh, Luckily, or it was sort of lucky to actually sort of turn pro in a way because Slough Town at the time, we'd done so well and I'd signed a two-year contract with Slough Town. So I was happy to sign there. I was like, only on peanuts, isn't it? But I was just enjoying playing football. But yeah. the year we, uh, it was, yeah, the, the season we did quite well. We ended up fourth in the league. Uh, we came semi-final in the FA Trophy. But that's following season, the Football League or the Conference Football League said to the club, that the, the stadium wasn't up to scratch. So if they wanted to okay. stay in that league, wow. they, they, had to, they had to upgrade the stadium. But upgrade, the chairman was yeah. like, yeah, the chairman was like, nah, man, he's, the stadium, it looks all right. So the, and they ended up demoting Slough Town, like two divisions below. I think he's in Bruh. three divisions. Yeah, exactly. So I'm like, hold on. I'm playing, man's 18 year old trying to play up, it, try and play, yeah. progress my career. And then you're telling me I've got to go and play in some Mickey Mouse league. Yeah, yeah, I said, yeah, I wasn't no, having no, it. No. So Brian McDermott, luckily, he said, he goes, no, he can't be having it. He goes, all you youngsters, I'm going to see if I can get you trials or even try and sell you to conference clubs or hopefully yeah. professional clubs so he sent me on he sent me on a month loan uh, sorry a month uh trial to Walsall who were in the okay. league league in uh, league one as it is now and I was like wow like Walsall I'm like freaking I was thinking I'm like <laughs> conference young but I'm like whoa this is a big jump so I went up there I went up there my, I remember my first day I went there I was nervous man a bag of shit mate I was just so <laughs> bad <laughs> first train session I walked into the train imagine I mean you're non-league you don't know how it is in the professional environment so I've gone into the change room where do I even go and sit? I'm like, shit, I don't even know. I'm looking yeah. around. But then there were some youngsters in there at the time. Michael Ricketts, if you remember, I used to play for Bolton. He yeah, was yeah, yeah, yeah. And Clive Pat. So they sort of made me feel welcome. They, they, they sort of brought me to the change room, sat me down. And there was people like Jimmy Walker, the old the keeper there. So I, my first training session, I was a bag of nerves. My balls bounced <laughs> off my shit and everything. And then obviously <laughs> next day, got a bit better. So anyway, cut a long story short, I ended up being there for, out of the mum, I was there for two weeks. So I get a phone call from Brian McDermott. He says, Lloyd, where are you? I said, I'm just on my way into training. I said, uh, he goes, oh, I've sold you. I'm like, what do you mean you've sold me, Gaffer? He goes, I've sold you to Brentford for 25000 I'm like, yeah. He goes, listen, go and tell Ray Graydon, thank you for the opportunity, but obviously you've got an opportunity. So I went to see Ray Graydon and he said, look, Lloyd, we wanted to see you for another couple of weeks. You're doing quite well, but we wanted to see you. But if you've got an opportunity, you've got to take it. Yeah. So, mate, I ended up driving back down the M6, back to London, met Brian McDermott uh, at my mum's and then went to go and see go and meet Ron Nodes, may rest in peace, and Ray Lewin and the uh, Brentford boys, because the Brentford boys are flying out to La Manga for pre-season training. So uh, I ended up going to meet Ron Nodes at the airport and, uh, yeah, signed a pre-contract there. You must, have, you must have thought you were living, bro. Like, yeah, from, <laughs> from Slough to jumping on a plane to going to uh, pre-season training abroad. Uh, and, um, you know, at Brentford, yeah. like, had they, they, they been watching you then, like, or was it kind yeah. of just a, a few phone calls? No, yeah, because a lot of what, yeah. what happened there? Because, like, yeah, obviously, yeah. if you're at Walsall and yeah. then all of a sudden the switch was to flipping Brentford, what, what, yeah. what happened in between that? So, prior to that, obviously, that season, the season and a half, I'd done, I'd done well for Slough scoring goals. Young, young Lloyd Awusu, new boy on the block in the conference scoring goals. So, uh, quite a few clubs yeah. were making inquiries yeah. of coming down to, to, to okay. make some parks okay. and watch games. And Brentford were always watching, but finally. They were actually they when I found out from Ray Lewin after he always said they were gonna they wanted to get me the following season if I was still at Slough. Right. Okay. Sure, just make, watch me again. Just make sure I get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they knew a lot of clubs were making a few sniffs. They thought, you know what, let's try and get this kid. And uh, yeah, they ended up buying me straight away. And yeah, the rest was history, as they say. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Because who was, the manager, who, was the, who was the manager at Brentford then when you signed? So it was Ron Nodes. Ron Nodes was the yeah. actual manager. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then at Brentford. Uh, debut, debut. Do you know what? That's another funny story because uh, <laughs> obviously coming from non-league, I'm thinking, I'm just thinking, I'm just be a bit part player, play reserve, yeah. learn my graft, come maybe get the opportunity into the first team. Uh, but anyway, Warren Aspel was a season, season pro, season pro, but a wanker anyway. Uh, I remember myself, <laughs> myself signed for non-league. Uh, Martin Rowland signed for non-league, and Darren Powell signed for non-league. So anyway, uh, Ray Lewis was naming a team on a Friday. So we had Mansfield first game of the season, played Mansfield. So he named the team, Powley's name was called out, and then Martin's name was called out. And I'm thinking, at least, I'm thinking, I wasn't even expected to be even on the bench. But then he said, number 11, Lloyd Owusu. I was like, fuck, I'm starting. 
<laughs> couldn't believe it. So like, who was, and who was that? Who was that against? Who was that against? Mansfield against Mansfield. Oh, Mansfield, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we we won three 0 I played about. I played seventy five minutes. Did okay. I didn't score. Played seventy five minutes. And like I said, it was just dream come true. Coming, just being involved in that first team environment, and which I didn't even expect. I thought I was like I said. I thought I was mm-hmm. going to be a bit part player, and then yeah, it was brilliant, brilliant. And so, so when did you get that first goal for Brentford? When was that? The first, yeah, we played a cup game against uh, West Brom, who at the time were in the Prem. Mm, yeah, wow. We were, we were, yeah, yeah, we beat them in the we beat them in the Carling Cup. It was uh, so we beat them three 0 at home, and uh, I remember I scored a header. My first goal it was a it was a no, sorry, it wasn't a header. It was a nice pass actually from Warren Aspinall, and. Uh, I just slotted it in my first goal, and I just couldn't believe. It. I just I didn't even know what to. I just ran away with my arms out and lost. Like wow, <laughs> the first professional goal, and then uh, from then they started to flood through. Uh, yeah, I think, I think for for anyone watching, like just just obviously just to touch base on what type of player you was. Like this is the time when the league was full of these big men, traditional big nans and little Leon Knights alongside them. Must have been yeah. great getting that first goal. Always- yeah, because like I said, back in them days, it was always four four two and little and yeah, large. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, me and yeah. we'll, probably come, we'll probably come on to that later on. But it was always that was always the case back in them days. Yeah, yeah. Man. So, so, so after that, the first goal. What happened after that? Because it kind of shifted to. Because I heard what I only heard of you when we was at Brentford. Now I think I was at like Huddersfield. Mm. Um, I think I was at Huddersfield. And I heard about Lloyd Abusu because you've been talking since the first. Yeah. You went on a you went on a mad one. Oh man. And it, before you knew no. it, you was like people saying, This guy's a legend already. Yeah. And I was just, just went, thinking, just, yeah. I was thinking to myself, who's this guy really though? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. I think I what I went down to a Brentford game. Me and my mate, I can't remember what game it was, so I went to see and you tucked. And the crowd was just going mad for you. And I was thinking, okay, okay, is this what I've got to compete with now? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I was thinking, okay, okay, this is it then, yeah? But I just remember, man, I would like, you get what I'm saying? Obviously, we linked up a few days later at Sheffield Wednesday, mm. but I was yep. just thinking, as well as like saying, you know, compete, it was good compete, competitors, like, it weren't no egos. Mm, it was like, exactly. in that day there, like, we just wanted to, score more goals or you know yeah, if we yeah. met up in a club or something we'd be like well yeah. i got more goals than you you know so you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's the kind yeah. of way it was like it was a friendly kind of like you know exactly. where we could compete no man but uh like i said i went to a game and just, you scored i think you drew the game i think but you scored mm. and i was just happy to see you do your thing bro man that was the first time i seen you play as well Thank you. Yeah. do you know what i mean yeah so I, but just for the brentford fans are probably going to jump on me and well, obviously, when this goes out and has a chat, yeah. where, where does the place sit in your heart? It must have been oh, a special place for you. Yeah, Alex, it's uh, number one. It's like it was, it's, that's my family club. I always say, break yeah. with my family. Even to this day, I'm still in contact with with the club and yeah. keeping contact with the fans, uh, whether on social media, etc. Like I said, they gave me the opportunity to become a professional. Yeah, uh, they guided me from when I was a youngster. Uh, and then obviously I had a second spell there as well. But for me, it's all about the fans. It was the fans yeah. who sort of made made my career for me. As much as obviously I got to put in my own hard graft as well. But them yeah. fans were fantastic. They just looked after me. They supported me. And the great thing about Brentford fans, even though when we had bad times, you know, you know, fans can get get against you and still turned off certain players. Yeah, but because they knew how my work ethic was, yeah, they just always knew no matter if I didn't score for X amount of games. They was knew Wusu's work ethic was there, and they they loved it, and yeah. I was applauding them for that. They were, yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, I, I asked Curtis this as well. Do do you think that's where you, that, that Brentford front fans got you at your best out of of all of, all the clubs you played for? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, to be don't fair. say Brighton. Don't say Brighton. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But Brighton yeah. was quality as well. To be fair, Brighton you, was quality you, as well. Bro, you don't talk about Brighton, man, because <laughs> yeah. there's only one Brighton man here. Yeah, right, mm-hmm. man. No, even good. though he was, was there. Yeah, no, even though you was there, bro. What year did you go to Brighton, by the way? Uh, 2009, Leon. 2009. I only went for a two-month spell. Yeah. He spent a year there. No, no, no. Two months. Just two months. He was only two there for months. two months? Yeah, went on loan. Just went on loan, brother, to, to try and save him. And obviously we did. So it was, yeah. And touch okay. him nicely. Job yeah. done. <laughs> <laughs> Job done. Job That's done. neat. Like, I thought you was there for about a year, bro. Nah, two months. Yeah, but it was a great two months. So great bunch of lads. So, yeah. So, so, so. Okay, so. From Brentford... Legendary mm. scored goals. You're on. You're on the plaque. Mm. Is it outside the stadium or inside? 
Uh, obviously, the original one, the old stadium, they had the big, they had the big yeah. wall, of, wall of fame. Uh, wall of they, fame. Yeah, yeah, they had that at Brentford, the 10 players. And then I think, I don't know, at the new stadium, at the new stadium, I believe they've got a lot of stuff up at the museum now. So all certain ex players and all the legends. So, yeah. Nah, it must it's be mad, it must be, yeah, it must be mad, mad watching that now and seeing what they're doing in the Premier. I must be blo- mind blowing. Yeah, they're doing so well. And it was always the case, though. I always knew it had to come at some stage. Just needed that. Yeah, look, yeah. Needed, needed that. And they've got it last season in the playoff. So yeah. they did well. Yeah, because I remember, been, I, remember knocking, I, mean. I remember playing Brentford and the crowd was always because it's quite close as well. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. The old ground. Really yeah. mm. And um, I remember playing there, and I just remember thinking, right, these men are kind of close to the flipping, yep. to the right to the, the field. Pitch. Like, yep. you know what I'm saying? So even yeah. if you, like you went round the goal to celebrate, it was just <laughs> yeah, on in the, the crowd. To the, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was kind of mad though. Still, but I, I love uh, that ground, man. That ground yeah. was so like to play there every week must have been a thing, but I, I like playing there myself. The pitch mm. was always neat. Do you yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, it was it was cool. a good little it was I mean the changing rooms and all that, but the tight, flipping tight, yeah. yeah, man, it was like a flipping jail cell in there, bro. But <laughs> was it you know what was it where yeah, was it where one's probably even smaller. Yeah. Even smaller. A way one even smaller, yeah. yeah. Way one was like a it was like a toilet, bro. Mm. <laughs> it was absolutely <laughs> tight in there. But you know, I've I've played against Brentford. Did I ever play against you for Brentford? Yeah, I was injured though, wasn't I? When the player when you when oh, you touched us nicely. Here we up. go. Why was you injured? That what happened? That's when I tore my hip just before the World Cup. The big injury I did the hip when, when I ruptured my hip, my uh, my oh, groin. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You play off semis and you you ripped us. You tore us another one that game. You tore us. What was that for? That Swansea. For Swansea, when you yeah, yeah when you touched yeah, nicely, yeah. man. Yeah. Was you there? Yeah. Of course, yes, I was there. I was, I wasn't happy. Obviously, I was putting on my catches, and then I see my boys. I mean, I was happy, always happy for you to score, but obviously, you're not happy that we ended up losing the game. But I'm not. I don't want to sound big-headed though or anything. But I honestly, believe if I was, if I, if I wasn't injured, because we were doing so well up to that, we would have automatically got promoted. Because we ended up going, because we yeah, were flying, no. and then I got injured, and we, yeah, yeah. And then DJ, DJ Campbell left as well. Yeah, uh, yeah, because yeah. yeah, the hype, the hype for him at one point was just crazy, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. Right. Yeah, man. So it's life, though. So, yeah. so was 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 you there when Sidwell and all that was there? Yeah, that was my first, my last. Sidney come on loan when as a Sidney come on loan for Mars was a youngster. Uh, yeah. Two thousand and two season, two thousand one, yeah. two thousand two season. He came fair play to him. He he did tremendous when he come on board for us because yeah, yeah. we we lost Gavin Mann. Gavin Mann had left to go to Watford, and we brought Sidney in. And uh, yeah, he's done tremendous as a kid, man. And yeah, we had a great team that era as well. Yeah, that era was that era was potent. Mm. I remember mm. that era. That era was potent. I think I was at two thousand and one to two thousand and two. Yeah, that's just mm. that's just before they changed. Like you know what, into League One and two. What yeah, it was yeah. Division yeah, three yeah, yeah. Two, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was yeah, at Huddersfield. Yeah. I was at Huddersfield at that time, and I remember you lot doing flipping yeah, really, flying, really well yeah. that season. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. So you see, after Brentford. Yeah. What? Why did you leave Brentford in the end to go where? Because obviously, you ended up four. You had four years at Brentford, uh, and then we we lost we lost the playoff final to Stoke, uh, and then all our contracts were obviously up. But yeah. I mean, if we if we got promoted, maybe we've all stayed. But everyone's Split, contracts were yeah. up, and then obviously it was it was a time when uh, the ITV Digital would come. So there was a lot. There was quite a lot of money involved in football. So we all at the end of the day, we knew. Look, we've been at Brentford. I've been at Brentford anyway myself four years. Yeah. Was yeah. it was it what was it one contract you saw right through like like no you know, I signed, did, uh, did you sign a couple I, of no, I, I did sign a re I did yes I signed the original one was a free yeah my original one was a three year contract and then I think into my then, then I signed an additional one on top to make it four years in total yeah and then, yeah like okay. I said look, we we lost the playoff final and I ended up uh, no I, I I wanted to try, obviously try and play in the prem or, or yeah. championship and progress my career. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, we lost that final. But yeah, then from there, I spoke to quite a lot of clubs because I was one. I was a free. I was a Bosman, so it was easier to get a move in away. And especially after I'd scored, I'd scored twenty-two goals that season as well. So I'd done what quite was well. What, okay. was, what was what was that? Was that was that after football league in for you? There must have been at that point. Yeah, there was after, quite a after lot the, after that season and being being on a free. Yeah, there was there was probably eight clubs. Eight clubs. Wow. I actually went. To, yeah, I went to eight clubs. I went to Sheffield Wednesday, Stoke, Gillingham, Millwall, QPR. Uh, Sheffield United, uh, uh, Q, that's a QPR, yeah, uh, Crystal Palace, 
Crazy. And then the lovely, I think, and someone yeah. else. So, yeah, and, and yes, yeah, so I spoke to all of them. Uh, Stoke. You had, you had, Stoke, you had, you had an hard choice to make then, didn't you, really? You could have gone anywhere. You could have gone anywhere. And uh, I did yeah. for me. I would have loved, I wanted to, to be, I wanted to stay in London. I actually went to see Crystal Palace and that was probably one of my clubs I would have signed at if it wasn't for Trevor Francis and Simon Jordan because obviously one, Ian Wright was my idol. So, yeah. yeah. Following in him footsteps from non-league, and then obviously yeah. I knew the players like Clinton Morrison, Hayden, Man- and all them mans. They were all there. But then when I went to go and meet Trevor Francis, like as a manager, you, you you're about to meet a new player, potential new player. I would expect a manager to come nice, dressed up. My man rock, rocked up in some boardy shorts and some flip flops. No nah, What kind of waste man is this? And then Simon Jordan starts talking to my advisor Les. He goes, "Oh, I don't really like, I don't really like agents." As soon as they started talking, I just felt, I just felt, I said, Les, you know, I, 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 yeah, I it's a put off, isn't it? It's a put off. It's a put off. As much as I wanted to, I would have loved to have been there, but that was and, it. And then, uh, yeah. And you see, back in back then, Alex, I mean, Lloyd will back me up with this. It's like yeah. the managers and the and the chairmen's had, they had the power, didn't they? Yeah, they had. Yeah, yeah. they was running it, the club. It's not. There. It's not yeah. like now where mm. you can't really talk to a player a certain way. You have to kind of mm. you know talk to him with respect. But back then, mate. I tell you, the manager spoke to you how we wanted to speak to you. How he wanted. How he wanted. Yeah, it, it, yeah it, it, I saw. It, I saw it, there, was, there was a little clip when um with Gre- when Grealish signed for City. Um, there's there was a little bit on on social media, and it was it was getting brought in. It, it looked like it was the first time like he'd met with with Graviola, like he got brought yeah. into his office and stuff. It's like hundred million pound. Can you imagine that happening back in your day, like not even speaking no to the manager. Just... <laughs> no, no chance. No chance. No, no chance. It don't no, happen, no. brother. And like I was saying no. back in back, like I was saying back then, do you know what I mean? It was a cutthroat business back then. Like, mm-hmm. you know, your, your your chairman had to grind and do certain things, and yeah. you know, try and get the best money for you because they always try and get you on a flipping yeah. cheap. And do you yeah. know what I mean? It was really a struggle. Like, and like like yeah. Lloyd said as well, the managers and chairmen they didn't like agents because flipping the agents who try and money, get money, money. Yeah, you. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And and they really. Any club that you went to at back then wanted to get you on the lowest wages and yep. uh, all sorts of stupidness like that. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, like now, yeah. like I say now, the players have the, the players have the power. The players have the power, and you know yeah. they control things from from mm. you know from their own career side. They control everything. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's yeah. good to see. To be fair, that it's come around. I think you see. Like, obviously, we we all been a free agent wide right, at that point. Mm. I think you're starting to. He's starting to see it even happen now, where like these big players are letting the contracts run down because they know the, the transfer money is going to come back into the pocket. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's happening course. more and more, isn't it? So um, I say it's going to be a switch, isn't he? Mm. Yeah, uh, I say this all the time, Lloyd. That I wish I was born in like ninety eight. Oh. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Different, like, oh, different can, like you here, imagine, can you imagine? Can you imagine you? Being on a Bosman scoring scoring twenty two goals, twenty two, and, <laughs> and then and then and then having a bat free agent, yeah, yeah, and just thinking to yourself, mate, if you get if you get if you get ten, if you get if you get in ten to fifteen goals in League One, you're ten mil now, easy. This easy, is what mate. I'm trying to say. Yeah. So you you've done that. <laughs> I always say this to my mates and that, and they always look at me like to say, uh, but I'm mm. saying if we scored twenty seven goals. 22, yeah. 15, yeah. Mm. Right now, like Alex said, you're worth 10, 15 million quid. Yeah. Now, back in our day, yeah, you had to do that your whole contract. Yeah. Otherwise, <laughs> they was looking to ship you out, bro. <laughs> and that is that's the god's honest <laughs> truth of the whole thing. You can't go mm. like six, seven, eight, nine, ten games without scoring a goal. Are you oh, mad? Man. Yeah. Never. Oh man. I mean, look at Just... look at Peterborough at the minute. Like for the last six years, they've literally bought a non-league striker, fifteen goals, moved on, fifteen mm. goals, moved on. Like one of the, we played, they played at Ulu the weekend. One I forgot, I forgot the night the guy's name now, but they've got another one they've got from non-league. He's probably going to go for a couple, of, you know, five, ten yeah, mil. Yeah, yeah, it's it's just crazy, like, yeah, it's just a thing. Like, it's cra- that's why. That's why I love speaking to all the like the my era players, and I'll, mm. I'll keep getting them on onto this show because I like that question. Do you mm. know what I mean? I like that, that putting that question and seeing your reaction to the question. Like, <laughs> really and truly, yeah. I'm going to ask you this question straight out. But, How much do you reckon you would have been worth calculating from back then to now? And I want Alex to I want Alex to kind of jump in on it as well. Like, 
We've got and, what, and what league? One, and what league? What, what league? What? So I'm in. So say I'm in what league? One champion? You've, or what you've, we done, say? you've done 22 goals in League One, and, and you're a free okay. this summer. <laughs> I'm a free this summer. <laughs> you're a free, free. I'm a free. If I'm, I'm a free this summer, I would be worth. If I, if or let's flip it because obviously. Yeah, obviously if you if, if, if you're in contract, had, yeah, if I was yeah. in contract, and a club had to come and buy me a num a true number nine, 22 goals in League One, I would honestly say. I'll be going for between seven and ten million. Yeah, easy. Yeah, complete Jesus. easy on a yeah. mad wage as well. On a, and then I'll probably go to that championship club or prem club, and I'll probably be pocket. If I'm in the championship now, I would say I'll, I'll be picking up fifteen to twenty. Yeah, easy. And if and then obviously in the prem, if it was a decent team, you'd be picking anything from twenty plus upwards. So. It's, yeah, it's, it's mad, it's mad. When when mad. when when Leon like when Leon mentioned like we're gonna chat with you, like I started to think like who could I who could I tell like a younger generation like who who they idolize now in that kind of number nine like you played and it's probably mm. only Lukaku doing that kind of stuff now, but you was yeah. doing that you was doing that just for just that was it, you know, that standard. standard. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's yeah, it's just crazy, isn't it? How it's all switched up, and now Lukaku is mm. like a rare breed. When you know he was just doing yeah. that standard, you know. Yeah. And he's got yeah. he, look how much money he's gone for. Yeah, he's in enough of hundred mil plus. Plus, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Look how much yeah. he's season after season after season yeah. after season. He's just got seventy million, eighty million, nearly ninety million, nearly hundred mm. mil. Like, do you know what I mean? That's like the number nine. Like, do you know I, mean, what I mean, you mentioned you mentioned Jason Roberts earlier, Lloyd. Like, yeah. he's probably the last one. In in since the prem's been the prem, like he's the last one, like who kind of been in that role. Yeah, I can't true. think of too many. I mean, yeah. there's been drug, a drug, 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 they, yeah, drug, drug, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It's no, not yeah. the full fiber and now they're a hundred million pound player, which is just nuts. Mad. <laughs> and 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 back then it was the big man and the little man. Yeah, let's yeah, talk yeah. about that. I want to know about that. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, yeah, I'm look, yeah, through my career from even when I went to Brentford. And then Ron knows brought in a guy called Scotty Partridge. He was like very dynamite, yeah. small. Uh, me and him was li literally little and large. But then it's very strange because in my final season at Brentford, my first spell, I had a guy called Ben Burgess, who was actually, we were both six foot plus. Yeah. Uh, yeah, ben yeah. Was, it was, Left foot. With ben, he, yeah. But with Ben, he was, yeah, yeah. he could tuck anyway. And also he was, but he was more gifted at coming off, off the play into feet. So it actually yeah. worked. But then like I said, when obviously then myself and Leon played together at Sheffield Wednesday, that little and large combination. It was all either and or Leon before, and Sheffield. Bef before, before that though, like when we got to Sheffield Wednesday, because we got there at the same time, right? Yep, same time, yeah. Right. Was it? Did so you, we, you both got in the? You both went in the summer, or was it in the January you went? Summer. No, it was in the summer. summer. Yeah, it was yeah, summer. Leon yeah. come on loan. Leon come on loan from Chelsea, and obviously yeah. I signed. Yeah. I had time for Honor Bosman, uh, and I actually signed. Obviously, I signed injured. I had my knee operation after the playoff final. Yeah, and then because uh, I remember, because obviously I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew of Leon even when he's a kid. Even I remember when I was at Slough Town, played Leon when he's at Chelsea years ago. But obviously, my my advisor Leslie February is very close with with Leon's old man. Uh, okay, yeah. So I, saw, I knew Leon obviously played obviously played against him all the time. So I heard yeah. that he was coming up. And uh, to be fair, it sounds strange. They actually, I remember when I saw Terry Yorif, he said we're bringing up Leon Knight, and we wanted we want me because obviously I'm older. He wanted me to sort of like take Leon under my wing, which I, yeah. Know, we got like a house on fire, so uh, yeah, yeah, we both got the same time. I was obviously going through my prehab though, and everything. But then obviously Leon started in the team straight away. Him and Shevki, uh, but we, yeah, the team. It was a great. It was a great look. Sheffield was brilliant in regards of the whole aspect. Massive club, good players, but there just wasn't because we got relegated that season. It just yeah. wasn't. There was just something missing. There was there was a lot of clicks when we got the. Yeah. Remember Leon? Remember? So yeah. we got in the changing. For example, Alex. I mean, we got into changing. You had all the the boys who Alan Quinn and the boys who come through the youth team, Lee right. Bombay. Then you had all at the it, older at one end, right? and, and really? like Trons, yeah. Ovet, Evan Okuku, and then me and Leon. Then it was then you had then you had a, there was a, there was, then there was a window of players like Paul McLaren, Ashley Westwood, and it's sort of myself and Leon. Who were the new ones. We sort of just on our own. It was, it, there was yeah, yeah. But, yeah. So it, it and and. Really. That what was in I the found... champ was that in the championship, wasn't it? It was yeah, championship. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And what I found there, Lloyd, at Sheffield Wednesday, like you said, everything else around it, the club, the fans, mm. um, it was just a load of hang on players that shouldn't have been there, yeah. that was on big money, that was Ooh. they had they had to play. Yeah. Like yeah. you had you had you had because they got relegated out of the premiership, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So they still yeah, had players. Down, right. Yeah. So they they still had players on Premier League wages yeah. that's playing in the Championship 
and they have to mm. now, you know, they, it's justified that they, they they have to justify playing them because obviously they're on the bigger wage and that's how it went. Yeah. So it was mm. kind of like when me and Lloyd got brought in and I'm telling you, if they had it down to just me and Lloyd and another man in as even two more, yeah. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? But not on them big wages or whatever. Me and Lloyd would have really been able to play shine. the little yeah. man and big man yeah, and yeah, shine. Yeah. But like mm. I said, they had Shefki Kuki, they had Gerald Sabon. These players what was, were on what, what was he like? What was he like in the dressing room and stuff? Like he had a decent career, didn't he, in, in the football league? Who was that? Who? Kuchi. Kuchi was quite top guy. Top yeah. guy. Yeah. You can't uh, listen. It, 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 top guy. Really top guy as well. Yeah. Bit quiet, bit quiet, yeah. and you know, kept himself to himself. But you know, when you spoke to him and stuff, like he was, mm. he was a brilliant guy. But like yeah, Lloyd it, said, it looked like a bullet defenders for fun. Like he was just, yeah, he was strong boy. Yeah, Flipping, no, yeah, he mm. was strong boy. But like Lloyd was saying, like you had our bit down at the end when you got into the changing room, uh, um, to even to train. We're not talking about mm. match day. We're talking about like training. We was mm. down one end as the new players came in. Then, they, like Lloyd said, there was a little gap with a few other players that interacted with everybody else. Then the old and yeah. It was really like, it, and, it, and to me, yeah, mm. to me, it was disappointing because I was going there off the back of Huddersfield, scored 17 oh. goals. Mm. And I'm just thinking to myself, this is a time now where, do you yeah. know what I mean? I can go and, you know, for the, for, for the majority of the part, was the plan? I was I mean, the plans must have been to go up that year, surely. Like, well, to oh, spring yeah. back, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just jump straight back up, yeah. And with me, I found that because there was them players there, Lloyd, as well, I had to shift that to the right wing. Played on the wing, played on the wing, yeah. This is what I'm yeah. trying to say, and yeah. it really annoyed me because obviously, if you played me and Lloyd up front together, and coming where from we're coming from. And you know both can score goals. If you'd have put mm. in the trust and played ten games together, or whatever, you wouldn't have took us off. You wouldn't no. have been able to not pick us again. And that's yeah. not even being big-headed, but that's just me thinking the big man, little man stuff. I mean, I played yeah. with Andy Booth, big Booth and he wasn't big. like Lloyd. No. He never had the ability and wasn't quick, and mm. you know, we won his headers and stuff and whatever. But he wasn't like Lloyd. Yeah, and yeah. I've done really well with him, and he done well, and we both done well, and whatever. So other, yeah, yeah. When I was going to Sheffield Wednesday, I had mad highs, man. I was thinking to myself, this is a big club. I remember Ian Wright scoring against them in the FA Cup, so I'm thinking, boy, this is a big, big club, bro. When I got yeah, there, when, that, when that when that ground's full, it absolutely rocks. Like I remember, yeah. and I, I remember, I, was, I remember so, being so, in that ground. It's sorry, crazy. I want to I want to get to this because fucking yeah. this is. We played Sheffield United and Lloyd were, Lloyd didn't start. Mm. You can tap in and have your say after, but yeah. I'm going to say what I need to say. And it was nil-nil for, for a bit now, Long for time. quite a while. Mm. Yeah, like the majority of the game. Mm. And, you know, it's Sheffield United, Sheffield Wednesday. It's massive. All week people have been flipping, talking about it. It's been mm. the papers and, <laughs> you know, yeah. it's it, it just... Anywhere you went, there was like it's United. This fucking place, you know. Blah, blah. I'm thinking, all right, cool, no problem. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're, come on, we're, we're gonna do our stuff. Don't worry about it. Like I said, it was long, man. It was just grinding. Two teams, not nervous, but you know, edgy. Like not, no one wants to make that mistake. Mm. So the other team score, and then it's mad that you have to try. Do you know what I mean? It's a Sheffield derby. So anyway, Lloyd comes on. And Lloyd used to be sick. I don't know what it was. What was it, bro? Ah, uh, you know what, Leon? It, when I look back at it now, and obviously I'm, I'm, I'm happy to say, I think obviously that back in our days there wasn't talk about anxiety and the, and uh, and nerves and everything, yeah. you know. So yeah. when I look back at of the, the 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 symptoms that I had then, and obviously coming up, because I've never done it before, Sheffield. But That's what I'm saying. Because like, I think it was a big arena, Leon, forty thousand in front of us. I'm like. I've never been like we were before. I was only playing in front of six, seven thousand for Brentford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden, I'm playing in front of forty thousand, and I just had this nerve. Soon, I just came on the pitch. Obviously, I scored the goal, and then after, I just puked up. I just literally just puked up, and I, it was it was come down to nerves, Leon. Yeah, that would, and it was mad because he came on and bruv within five minutes, not even five 60 minutes, seconds. sixty seconds. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bang. Yeah. Goal. And I've never, like, without scoring, I don't think in my whole career, without scoring, I've felt like that. Because I'm just thinking, oh, my God. Not. <laughs> it, bruv, it was... And everyone was going ballistic. I turned yeah. around and I saw a pressman go, ah, running up and down. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, this is crazy. Lloyd run off. I'm trying to catch Lloyd. Yeah. Catch yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to catch Lloyd and run over and celebrate. Yeah. I know this is going to be on TV, bro. I'm thinking, yeah, yeah. Oh, I need to get on line. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I was well happy for you that day, man. Because flipping, yeah. like I was saying, like they never gave man the opportunity that we deserved exactly. when we was mm-hmm. going there. Do you know what I mean? But I was well. I, I have to say, man, I was. Was well you happy was you, was you out for long at the start of the season, Lloyd? Or did you yeah, miss many so, games? Yeah, but... nice. I had the operation at the end of the playoff seat at the at, at the end of the playoffs. So it took you a while to get going a bit, yeah. Yeah, and then I, then obviously I came to Sheffield because the game was at September, so obviously the season had started. So I missed all of August. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I missed all one good month of yeah, because yeah, season started August fifth, whatever. Yeah, missed all the games, and then obviously come August the second, uh, September the second. Sorry, September the first against United, and then I made my debut against them when I came off the bench. So yeah, mm. yeah. I remember, I remember, like, because obviously, um, it's not too far away from all. Like, I was just used to like going to like Bulfry Park back in the day. You've probably you both you might have played yeah. there. I had to yeah. sure, but. We got we got some free tickets to go when Chef Wednesday was still in the Prem and it was uh, to to Liverpool and the team I was playing with all the lads went we got a coach down there and I just remember like the only ground I'd ever been to was Hulfry Park and I remember getting to that ground full Liverpool I think Michael Owen scored two on the day but that was the first moment of a ground like it it just shook me like it realised wow what what mm. this is like just the just the stage of the place like the yeah. sound of it it was just mental. Yeah. And that's what so, uh, can, I imagine, can imagine what it felt for you like going going through that playing in it. Yeah, brilliant, crazy, brother. And and, and what I like because Lloyd, I know Lloyd, and um, that whole time that we was together was nice because we were like obviously that yeah, we're young back then. Like we got <laughs> we got the we got the Benzes. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. We're driving around <laughs> town and stuff. Oh, what, was, what, what, what was the nightlife like? Oh, crazy. <laughs> it was nuts. It was, crazy. it was, it, and, and because the town's small and, do you know what I mean? It's Sheffield, so there's either yeah. Sheffield United players or Sheffield Wednesday players. I mean, there's some Rotherham players that came down because yeah. it's close yeah. by and whatever. But it was either Sheffield United players or Sheffield Wednesday players. And any time you went into a club, they knew who you was, like, do you know what yeah, I mean? So away, treat, yeah. treated a bit different and stuff and whatever, but... Like I was saying, man, we was living a nice life there. Like, like I said, me and Lloyd had the Benzes. We was driving <laughs> up and down time, pulling up wherever we wanted to pull up, jump out. Right outside the club, the restaurant. Do you get what oh, I'm saying? Mate. Everything, brother. I think Lloyd was on 22s at yeah, that time. Yeah, on the, on the ML, yeah. yeah. He, had the, he had the ML black, black seats and stuff. <laughs> yeah, windows are tinted. I'm thinking, yeah, I had, I had, the, I had the, Mer- the, the, CLK. the CLK. The CLK. You had the CLK. You changed it a on couple 20... of times. You had the CLK. Yeah, yeah, and you had and you had the uh, X5 as well. Yeah, the silver X5. Silver X5 as well. Oh, yeah, man, I had the yes. silver X5 as well. But man, I remember even Lloyd, like when he first got there, you know, I was not helping him, but I was just staring around and you know anything he wanted to move into that like, he was moving into his new house and stuff or whatever. Yeah. I was already in a little apartment. Where, where did um, where did Chef Wednesday office. sit? Were you learn? Like, is it is it? Did you ever get a bond? Did you feel like you got a bond with the fans, or no. is it just oh, nah, just no, no emotion no. there? Yeah, no, for me, for I mean, me, I did. I mean, I did. I did with the fans because obviously because of scoring at my first touch, so I've always had yeah. that connection with the fans. Yeah, got that there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I, I mean, I think I'm a kind of person that I'm really like. Uh, I don't even know what to say and what word to pull it, but I'm really like, I'm a bitter person. If like, if you mm. do something to me. Yeah, or yeah. if something happens within something, I don't forget it. Mm-hmm. Like, and I can't kind of like say, oh, okay, well, you know, it didn't happen. But you know, what like, I, like, I'll if someone asks me online, I'll say they're pricks. Who was the manager? Who was the manager then? To get season? what I'm saying, though, Lloyd, um, yeah, Terry yeah, Yorf was the manager that started. Terry and, and then this prick, Chris Turner. What's his name? Chris, Chris Turner. Turner. He was a complete and utter dickhead. Did he come from the lower leagues or was he was he like did he drop down from the Premier? Yeah, he, he was. 
No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah, he came from no, nah, came from Hart, the Hartlepool. Hartlepool. It was Hartlepool. Yeah, came from Hartlepool. Yeah. He, he was a knob. He's a knobhead now. Do you get what I'm saying? He's a knobhead <laughs> now, bro. Like, the guy was a complete prick. I just couldn't believe how much... Because I don't think I've dealt... That's the first time, like, I've dealt with a prick manager. Mm. That's the mm. first time. And I just couldn't believe the way how he was going then? Was you, was you 19? 18, 19, you will have been, surely. I must have been 19 or something 19, like that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, it was just a bit disappointing, man. Like flipping, mm. uh, like I was saying, we got there, and I was expecting big things, yeah, and it yeah. would have been big things if we was to, if I played yeah. my right role, and Lloyd yeah, yeah. played with me, and I know In we terms it up. Apart, like apart from Chelsea, like same to you, Lloyd. Was like was the infrastructure the biggest you'd been in? Like, could you tell? Was it geared to be a prem club, or had already started declining? Like, was no, that I, that's, just like no. the back room and all that? No, nah, I still think again, like you said, that the, the plan was to try and get promoted again. There yeah, wasn't so, no, like, when, was once, there, yeah. I must admit though, but once the season, once the results were dipping, yeah, you could tell us that you know, oh, we're on a slippery slide here. Yeah, so, yeah. Was, yeah. fans were yeah. going against you, then you could just see yeah. that slippery slide and end up getting relegated, unfortunately, which was which was shit, but that was life. Yeah. yeah. So so after after Sheffield Wednesday, where did you go, bro? I went to I went to Reading. I actually went on Reading on loan, luckily enough, in the championship at the time. Yeah. Was that was that so, Steve Coppel still there? With Cops ledge. Yeah, so okay. it was funny because we actually obviously we were in League One at the time. I remember we played Brighton away and uh I went to go and see the gaffer because like, yeah, he's, I yeah, I love him to bits. Just went to his office, how you doing, Gaffer? He goes, Oh Lord, I see you on the bench. What's happening? I said, Oh, I'm not getting involved. He goes, Oh, would you want to come on loan here? And I was like, Oh, I'd love to if I can come back down south. He goes, Listen, just keep it, keep it quiet. And we'll see what happens. So anyway, me being big mouth, I've gone in. I've gone in on Monday to all the boys. I've been, I've been <laughs> I've gone in on Monday, and I've gone to all the boys. Yeah, yeah. I'm going on loan to. I'm going on loan to uh, to uh, to Brighton. And next thing, one of the boys was must have been in the canteen upstairs. He's come downstairs. He goes, oh, you not seen Sky News? And he goes, no, what's happening? He goes, oh, Steve Cobble just got the, the gig at Reading. I'm like, oh fuck. Right. So I'm like, pause. Oh, so that's just... <laughs> pause for a minute. So I'm at Brighton. Mm. This time. And our manager, Steve Koppel. Mm. So now I've signed from Chelsea permanently at Brighton because of Steve Koppel. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I've played about four games under Steve Koppel, scored three goals or even four in four. Mm. And... He's managed Ian Wright, like you keep saying, that's my idol. Mm. He's telling me stuff. We're doing shooting sessions and he's telling me stuff and it's violence, tearing me violence. up. And <laughs> violence, violence <laughs> and stuff like that. And like you said, I woke up one morning. <laughs> Go on. No, I woke up. And I ain't switched on. I was late to training. Oh, yeah. Shock. <laughs> I was late. I was late to training. So I've sped into training. And there's no gaffer. I'm thinking to myself, what is going on, bruv? I only signed like a couple of weeks ago. What's going on? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gaffer's gone. Bob Booker. Bob Booker comes to me. Yeah, the gaffer's gone. So I said, oh, yeah, the gaff is gone. Because we didn't have, there was no, like, lead or... Mm, nothing. Yeah, they have yeah. been talking was no, or whatever. No, no, it was no just talk, quickly, yeah. bam, and he was gone. Mm. And I was thinking to myself, as if this guy has signed me, knows I've signed for him, and all of a sudden, he's just not here. Just gone. Mm. So like Lloyd saying, he was saying, do you want to come to Brighton on loan? And then all of a sudden... He was at Reading. Now, then Lloyd mm. went to Reading on loan. Yeah, That's that mad, that, you know? Yeah, yeah it's nuts. luckily, because obviously I played with him at Brentford, so this time when he went to Reading, I, nothing happened. I thought, I'm done now, so I'm still at Sheffield. And so another month good gone down the line. I'm still at Wednesday, obviously in that, the team. And then about, it's, it's come about uh, December time, I get a phone call from the cops. He goes, Lloyd, Steve Couple here. I thought it was someone joking. He goes, I want you to come on loan to Reading. And this time I just kept quiet. I didn't even tell nothing to the boys. And then Brian McDermott, bless him, called me about an hour later. So, yeah, Lloyd, we're just sorting out with the secretaries, both secretaries and sorting out. We want you to come on an initial loan. And luckily, Alex, I was uh, obviously I was playing for uh, 
I was in the League One, and luckily yeah. got an opportunity to go to Championship. So, uh, yeah, that yeah, was good, man. So, yeah, yeah crazy. Did, yeah. Did, 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 did you get into the Premier Reading then? It was no, but I would have been, been yeah, later, yeah. wouldn't it? No, I was. I mean, that year I, I still had another year left. I yeah. still had another year left to go, but I, I, Popple couldn't promise me. He couldn't guarantee me regular games. Anything, yeah. So I, I ended up leaving because I, really, I just wanted to play. But when I look back yeah. in hindsight, if I'd stayed, just... I, I could have been in and out. And I reckon he would have, I reckon he would have, because he did it in the end. He gave a lot of players who didn't even play. He gave them all yeah. one year Premiership contracts. So, but that's wow. life, you know what I mean? I, but like I said, he was, he was, he was a blessing. He was great, great guy. Yeah, like yeah, Steve you, Koppel. You, you, yeah, you, you've said before, and you Leon, like you, you really rated Steve Koppel. Didn't oh, you? man, I love that guy, man. Steve oh, Koppel, man. Sure. He, he, he. He was for the players, bro. Oh, massive, massive. Do you know what I mean? He was for the players. If you ever know, like, Steve Koppel or played underneath him, and this can go right back to, like, Ian Wright's era. Mm. Like, mm. he was for the players. He actually wanted you to do well. Like, he had little, he had little, like, relationships with each player, maybe not as a yeah. whole or whatever, but, you know, you had, you could go to talk to him. Yeah. You know, he ain't going to be on no... Yeah, 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 and all yeah, of that. Yeah, do you know what yeah. I mean? He's oh, gonna talk um, to you, even if he don't agree or whatever. Was anything exactly. anyone if saying? He he's gonna if tell he you, and it's gonna be, it's gonna come across as like, you know, like I'm talking to you now. It ain't gonna be like, well, you know, and you ain't yeah. done this, and you're that, and whatever. It weren't like that mm -hmm. with him. So you know what I mean? The little time that I spent with him, I'll always, always big him up, man. But no, yeah. no matter what anybody else says about him or whatever, exactly. and there ain't too many people that got a bad word to say about him. Like, do you know what I mean? Exactly. So. Yeah, man. I've so got always. Yeah, so, well, let's jump to Australia, and obviously, obviously moving out there. You, you mentioned yeah. it a bit earlier before we started. Like you're living, you know, the weather's good. You're loving yeah. life out there. I, I, I was the football side of things out there. Yeah, it's still, it's still developing the league, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's even still now. developing. Yeah, the A League has been out. I've been thinking the A League now. It first came out two thousand and five. So yeah, because lo loads yeah. of prem players have jumped ship, haven't they? Like they're still they're still making it out there. Like. Yeah, there's still a few come here and there. I mean, look, it's still growing. There's only 12, 13 teams in the, in, the, in its league. There's no mm. relegation. There's no relegation, so it's sort of sort of killed Australian football. It's franchise, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's all franchise, so it's yeah. it's not the best overall, but. Look, it's getting better. Well, hopefully, in years to come, they're going to have a relegation, uh, so an, under, an underlying yeah, league underneath, yeah, yeah. and then uh, you take from it. But other than but life is life is good. Uh, football. I'm in the coaching. I'm still coaching here. I'm working at one of the top private schools in the country. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm, it's it's good. It's good. Nah, great. So so, how many clubs did you play for over there? Only all. Oh, so professionally, one Adelaide United. Yeah. And then when I came back to emigrate, obviously, then I, now I'm, I'm, a, I'm just retired as a professional footballer. I came to play some semi-professional. So I played for one team first in Adelaide called White City. So it's the equivalent, Leon, of like, like Ryman South, you know, it's, it's the equivalent okay, of, yeah, of yeah. two nights, yeah, yeah. two, three nights a week you train. So I played for a team called them. And then when I came to Sydney, I moved, played for a team called Hakoa and then one team called Stanmore and one team called Rydalmere. Uh, all, all that like semi-professional level. And then, then that was it. And then I would, Totally, totally hang up the boots. 2017, after I ruptured my hip flexor, and then yeah, I'm not, I haven't me, yeah, ever since then. Oh, you so done your hip again? Not, yeah, <laughs> ruptured, ruptured it again off the hip, off the, off the bone, man. So Fucking I just think, you know what? I'm not, I'm not getting no younger. Don't need to be facing <laughs> the pain, man. Yeah, I've got, to look, I've got to look after my body. Yeah, for and 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 obviously you got kids now and stuff. Do you yeah. know what I mean? You can't. It's it, to put yourself through them stuff again. It's not like you're young. And it's not worth it. You, yeah, you, yeah. You, you ain't got the priorities and stuff like that. Especially when you're not on no. If you was on like fifty grand a week, then obviously you can. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I know what you're saying, man. I know yeah, what you're saying. So, yeah. what you say? You, you you're a teacher now. So oh no, I'm, I'm not. No, so what is I'm, I'm at, uh, so I've actually got two roles. So I'm head of head of the football, uh, the first eleven okay. football team. So in Australia, it's a private. So in Australia, private schools, it's a, it's a big thing. It's, it's, it's more of a uh, tradition and uh, what's the right word to use? Uh, it's like, a, it's very important to be at a private school in Australia. Yeah. So I do that for the football and I'm also, I'm the general duty master. So with that role, I'm, I'm like the sergeant major of the school. So I'm, yeah. in, charge of all, I'm in charge of all the discipline, the detentions. Uh, I, I, I do all the investigations if there's any trouble, any fights. Uh, I can see you so, being good at that though still. Okay. Right, it's, you, again, you, it's about building, yeah. And that's why I love it, Leon, yeah, because it's about building yeah, relationships. Man, you, yeah, you, come up, so. you, like, you speak well, do you know what I mean? And 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 and, and you're, you're a good person, man. I can see you doing well in that, man. That, 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 yeah, that so kind of suits you down it. to the ground. Yeah. And also, Leon, it's more of a mentor side. And like you know, Leon, being in football, we've got to be disciplined in football. 
And yeah. that's where, so with my background of being disciplined in football, because you, you know you've got to be on training all the time, you've got to do the extra, whatever, blah, blah. That just yeah. resonates with me and it, it just comes out naturally. So I bring this to the school, to the boys. And like, listen, these boys are multi, these kids are multi-millionaires. These, like, I'm talking, we've got like, we've got uh, Russell Crowe's kids at the school. Uh, Jesus. We've got, uh, yeah, yeah, this is, uh, this, is, this is kind of the elite level we're talking about. The, the, the Packer family, we've got the Packer family. Uh, Justin Hems, who's a multi, he's a multi mogul uh, property developer, multi mogul. Uh, we just got silly, like it's just silly, silly, silly wealth. So these kids, a lot of self entitled uh, kids, but I give them a sense of reality coming from coming from fucking South. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I give them a sense of reality that life ain't all about that. Life's about being a good person, being respectful, and then 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 then, then that all money second nature. So yeah, I'm, that, yeah. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. So so, I mean, I've seen on social media. You putting up videos, you know, of the kids and stuff, yep. and it's good, man. It looks good, like Thank they look you, like man. they can run, bro. Wow. Little man, <laughs> I see little, little man. man doing some techniques. I'm thinking, but that's definitely like, because you had that, the arm, <laughs> you had that technique, and once yep. you got going after the like the first five yards, it was hard to keep yep. up. But you had, he, he yeah, looks man. like he's got that little technique, and then and the little and and you know the the the, the your girl there flipping out. Oh. She's yeah, involved she, in everything, isn't she? She does everything as well. The hurdles, triple jump. Uh, I just love listen with this with this country, Leon, because it's so open. There's so much space. It's so mm. free. There's water. There's sand. It's like yeah. it's nothing's an effort. Where like if yeah. you're in England, you know what I mean. It's dark. It's rainy. It's yeah, you yeah. don't want to go out. We're here. There's so yeah. much space, Alex. It's just like yeah. Feel, let them let them play. I said let the kids but, play. But 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, I know you. And you're not too fond of like spiders and all them sort of stuff there. And I'm kind of getting <laughs> like, like, but, but like, well, like, you get me? what's going on over there, bro? Why nah, are you, you there? Listen. Like, nah, man. is the you spider thing, because really obviously, is it a cliche or like, cliche, is there mate, really just... spiders over there? Yeah, look, you, look, in the outback, outback here, yeah. but we're in a city life. You don't, listen, very rare that you'll see spiders cre creepy. You know, you see, they talk about Australia, big spiders, creepy boys here, there, nah. It's, it's all a myth. It's all a myth. No, it's no snakes case. or nothing. No? Nah, <laughs> you, only, if go, only if you're gonna go in the outback, if you go through the through the bushes and all the dirt, then fair enough. But other than that, we're, we're city life here, so you don't see none of that, man. What's it? What's hey. the standard? Of, what's the standard of the uh, of the football like in the, in the colleges and the and the stuff like that? Is it? Is it? Yeah, is it still cool. a? Is it still a major sport, or is it? Is it getting to that? Or yeah, I mean, look, rugby. Look, rugby in rugby the private always school, wins. Yeah, rugby always wins in the private school sector, but more kids are playing football. So, yeah. which is a great shout but with the talent talent wise not the best i mean the team i've got at the moment is gonna, is not, they're not going to be the best the best team but they're going to be competitive yeah it's all i can ask for them you know what i mean yeah absolutely absolutely yeah man so lloyd a few things that i do mm. is um i like to ask to see where you know you're at like what is the best club that you played for like the best club, like you've enjoyed most. Like, what's the best club that you played for? I would, on, as much as yeah. Look, it's definitely Brentford, but I feel I feel like I always have to name two others. Like <laughs> yeah, so tired. I have, to, I have to name. I have to name. Oh no, sorry. I have to no, sorry. Just uh, yeah. So the other two was obviously Brentford. I have to name Reading and Brighton as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. like you say, because you say the best. I'm, I'm looking at not because of football aspects. I'm thinking of how you how i felt and ha as a person because at the end of the day you have to feel good within yourself to play well play and, enjoy yeah, yeah. Life, and enjoy life even outside of outside of finished training and yeah. the guys at reading the guys at brighton the guys at brentford i can't speak who was that I mean. who was at brighton that time when you was there so with the player wise obviously it was the likes of obviously we had uh kuipers in goal obviously yeah, oh, uh, okay. Yeah, myself obviously. Then uh, was, was Oakway and all that was still there. Charlie was sort no Charlie no uh, no Charlie wasn't no no Charlie wasn't there no Charlie wasn't there. No, so Charlie was Kerry May was Kerry May all there. Kerry, Kerry Kerry was there. Uh, my strike partner. Danny Cullen. Cullen was yeah. Cullen was in and out, but he was started like, trying to get him out. Uh, obviously Lofty. Uh, the midfielders. Uh, Tommy Tommy Tom Cox. and the elf. Yeah, Coxie. Uh, Fo Fozzie the skipper, Greg, get Greg, Greg, Greg was there, uh, Murray, but he was uh, he was injured. Uh, Maka, so there was a nice bunch of boys though, but it was a real great spirit though. It was a real good yeah, spirit yeah, though, yeah. man. That 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 yeah. if 
you know, there was a little piece of players that when I was there, and yeah, they were still there. Yeah, it, yeah. There, it was Brighton. This is when you, when, 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 when you're playing like a, a, a race track at that point, so I'm sure the ground, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, definitely. With the, yeah, with yeah, the stadium, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And when I, when they was trying to get the new stadium when I was there, so yeah, they must have, they was trying to get it when probably you was there as well. Yeah, right, still, it, was, it, was, it was getting built, but luckily, like I said, if we had got if we had if we'd got relegated that year. Into League Two, that would have would have been a nightmare. Yeah, would have killed. Yeah, would have yeah. killed. It. But lucky they stayed up, and then obviously the fair play to them progressing now. They're in the promised land. Yeah, man, they're they're doing well, and they're in the Prem. I'd have never, I would have never thought, obviously playing from the with team that they're there, yeah. and they're up against Man United, Man City, you know, competing, you know, we well as well. Like, do you know what I mean? But yeah, fair play to them, man. I'm no, I'm, I'm I'm happy for them there still. But anyway, carrying on. Mm. I need your top five players, bro. Like. <laughs> Don't matter. I need your era to, oh, you said Ian Wright and stuff like that. We need yeah. the top five that oh, you think what? is the best players. In, what, that I played with or just in general? Just in general. Just your your era, yeah, definitely. <laughs> we've, uh, we've played with or against. Yeah. You know what? I we would, need... Okay. I think I'd go play that I played with as well. So I would say, I would have to say, one guy first and foremost, I've got to say Gavin Mann. Who yeah. Okay. Many, Gavin Mann, for me, he was just, he had everything in the locker. Came from non-league, came, he was at Wolves as a kid, then went non-league, Hereford, came to Brentford, breath of fresh air, had everything in the locker, everything, tenacity, technique, tenacious, uh, he, he, he just had everything, he had everything. Yeah. So for me, I would say, I would say for him, was him. Goalkeeper-wise, I would have to go with a goalkeeper that I, I played him in Australia, a guy called Eugene okay. Galekovic. Yeah, he was, he was, he was a top, top draw keeper. Okay. Uh, I'd have to on the, I'd have to drop Essien in there for international level when I played for Ghana. Oh well, fuck it! No, you're gonna well, drop well, them, yeah. man. There, yeah. Uh, yeah. Get that in. Get that in. Get that in. I have to drop the bison. I have to drop the bison, and he was he, he was phenomenal uh, when I was a. Obviously, he was younger than me, but growing, just watching him, he was just. I would I would have to say him. Uh, if I if I look at a defender, defender played with I would or against I would have to say for me Sol Campbell. Uh, Absolute beast when I look yeah. at that. For, What's that just, for? Uh, against when I played, I remember we played. I was playing, obviously, we remember we played him night. Like, remember when he was at uh, 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 no, no, he didn't play with it, not with Portsmouth, he was at Portsmouth then. But when I was at no, no, he was at Portsmouth. We played, I played him against Yeovil, he was just he was a, he was a beast, yeah. Uh, and then I would say, striker wise, who was that? Sol Campbell, Sol Campbell, oh, Sol Campbell, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And then striker wise, when I look at my era, of obviously never ever played against him or played with him or just watch, I would have to say very top. It's tough for me between the two, but I'd have to say Henri. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Henri just had everything. As much as I love Ian Wright and Andy Cole, Dwight York, that I, that I love watching him, but for me, yeah, Henri just Henri was just special, special. All special. right, so another quick question to throw at you: best goal you've scored. Mate, the best you scored goal. at St. James. You scored at St. James's Park, right? Yeah, scored in the cup. Yeah, but I would yeah, say the yeah, best yeah. goal I scored. It's probably just one. I actually, oh, I actually, one. I guess, I guess it, I'd have to say this one against Blackpool because I won it one goal in a month uh, away at Blackpool uh, many years ago at Bloom, Bloomfield Park. All around the corner from Evo, and I was outside the box, flicked it up. Like it just came nicely. I think it bobbled nicely off the ground. Henri, yeah, yeah. I've, I've turned, I've turned them, I've just turned and volleyed it, and it's just gone in the top bins. It's like sort of not the top top bins, but it's gone looped over the keeper. Right. I say that was probably my yeah, my best goal. Yeah, man, that's good. That's good. Um, all right, can we tap in on anything else, Al? Or no, basically, touch that. Yeah, just, 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 just touch based on Australian. Are mm. you, are you missing the UK, man? Is there anything that? No, nah, I'll be honest with you now. Look, as much yeah, you miss your home comforts, don't get me. Yeah. You miss your, your, your family, your friends, mum's cooking, don't get me wrong. But for me, it's all about what I, for me, it's about the next generation. That's my kids, giving yeah. them a better way of life. Because the only reason I moved to Australia, I was living in South East London, Rotherhive. And I remember I looked out the window and I saw all these young ghetto youths smoking weed. I'm thinking, Grim, I can't, yeah. let, I, can't, I can't let my daughter live like this. So that's why I decided to come to Australia. So for me, it's all about Australia for, at the moment. So, so, that, so yeah. you're going to be there probably the rest of your life? you see that? Yeah, realistically, yeah. mate. Uh, I've got a lovely partner now. Yeah. Uh, top lady. She looks, she's got, she's really good with Mikey as well. She's got her girls as well. 
Uh, I've, got, I've made a, I've got a nice bunch of friends. A lot of a e- good bunch of friends. Even a lot of quite a few English guys who are here been here for some time. Uh, okay. So yeah, kept it there. And like I said, I'm, I'm in a, I'm in a great school with, with the work I'm at with my job. It's, it's I think why would I want to jeopardize anything that I'm I'm enjoying life? You know. Yeah, man. Got to be where you're happy, right? Do you know what I mean? Thank you, Lance. Spot on. You got to be where you're happy. Spot yeah. on. Spot on. Definitely. Man. You know what I mean? So, All right. Well, flipping. Yeah. That's the end, bro. Touched Thank on you. basically Thank everything. You. Just seeing if there's, yeah. Yeah, there ain't nothing else to tap on. We tapped on everything, bro. Yeah, man. Because you, you, you done a bit of modelling as well, haven't it? Yeah, I've done, done a couple of bits. I've done a bit of modelling. Yeah, don't get it twisted. How old are you now? I'm 45 next month. Yeah, brother, don't listen. Yeah, yeah, you, right. look, you don't look 45. You, I know man. that. No, yeah. no, 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 thank you. So, yeah, like I said, I've done a bit of modeling and some TV commercials out here, which has been fantastic. Uh, even a couple of little doco movies as well. So, yeah, we, it's just tapped in other markets and you've got to see what else is out there. You've got to earn a crust, as, extra crust. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've enjoyed I've enjoyed some of them aspects as well, man. No, it's pleasure right. speaking pleasure speaking to you, mate. I really appreciate it. Cheers, uh, Lloyd, man. It. It's good to have you on, bruv. It's thank good you. to have you, you on. Ladies you. and gentlemen, that's Lloyd Awusu. YouTube, you got to YouTube the goal out, the goal reel as well. Get on that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. definitely, man. Definitely, the goal reel is nice, even though the quality, yeah. because it was back in the day, ain't too yeah. good. But <laughs> to get what I'm saying, Jeez. but yeah, man, thanks a lot, man. Thank Lloyd Cheers, Owusu, man. on chat with Natty. Cheers, Lloyd, man. Take care, guys. All the best. Bye, bye, bye mate. All the best. See you later, mate. Bye, bye.